Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm not feeling the greatest today, but don't worry, I'm still here for a Lost video. Um, today, I'm going to be going over the Gala Remix, which has three new units, which has actually been a very long time since we had one of those. I'm going to kind of go over them, give my thoughts about what they're doing with this banner, and I guess very rarely I'm going to say whether or not you should summon pretty early on. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So the thing I wanted to bring up is the fact that this is actually... So it's Summer Yasu and Summer Mitsuhede. Um, forgive me if it's wrong. And Summer Marsh then. And they're all limited. Um, which is pretty rare. Well, it's not rare because Yasu and Mitsuhide and Marshton are all limited to the Hinamoto banners in a year from now. At, at around New Year's, not from a year from today. Um, but the thing that's weird is that they very rarely did it for Summer. I thought that was the good thing about Summer is that they're not really limited units and now they're doing limited units. And here's the reason why I really don't like them doing this. Halloween. Around the time they were releasing two Halloween units along with a um, gala remix I usually what they did is usually what they do is that when there's a gala remix with limited units on it they do another banner right afterwards with them on it and them featured like usually they, they even do it with non-limited units but for some reason that Halloween they never came back and they didn't come back for an extremely long time. They only recently came back and then they were gone again. But they were basically only here for two days. And I don't know. So we're getting free multis for a good portion of it. I don't know if the end of this Gala Remix, the next banner, has them on it. Because I'm being honest, I don't think it does. Um, because it just wouldn't make sense. And I feel like that's a huge... Right now, what I'm saying is I'm thinking of the future, and I'm thinking right now these units aren't going to be on the next banner. And I don't think they're coming back for another, like, six months, or maybe even if that, maybe a year. They might be another year or so. Just speculation. So if you're someone who absolutely loves these units, you're going to have to summon for them. I just can't... That one year where those Halloween units were t there for two days, and I was telling people... Just wait, they're going to come, and they never showed up again. I really don't know if they're going to have the same thing again, but one bad experience is enough to ruin it for the rest of the time. So that's something to keep ahead, keep in mind. There's no way to know if the 10 free multis are going to have these two units on it. Based off of the way that they've been releasing units, I'm going to say right now, there isn't. And the way that they specifically made sure to release limited units after MIM, they want to get all your Wormite, everything from you, so... Something to think about. So, let's actually get into the units now. He's on a Jet Ski, Summer Iasu. He has Unrelenting Wave, Shareable 7, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, and activates Skill Shift. If the attack connects, Phase 2 inflicts Bleeding. Whilst Phase 3 inflicts Bleeding and Frostbite, and dispels one buff from each target, Phase 1 and 2 will also immediately ready the user's initial skill, displayed at the top of their skill list for use. Damage 450 over 2 hits, skill energy required 2714, phase 2, 450 damage over 2 hits and the same amount of skill energy required, bleeding lasts for 30 seconds, and then phase 3, 450 over 2 hits, same amount of skill energy, and once the shared skill this is the only skill it is, and it's 8494 for a shared skill, and it inflicts frostbite and bleeding and dispels buffs. Alright, this doesn't sound too bad, this sounds pretty good. Uh, sounds better for a shareable skill, maybe. Man, actually, I don't know what the other offerings for Frostbite and Bleeding and Dispelling Buff. It's a lot of things to do in one move, I can tell you that right now. And for 8,000, then, you know, some units have like 10,000 uh, for a skill 2 or something. But let's move on. Worm Grace Wave. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Bleeding foes take extra damage. The second time this skill is used, a variant with different effects will be used instead. The skill will then alternate between these two versions for every use. Damage is 2010, uh, 2010, 2100 over one hit, 3372 skill energy required. Damage modifier is 120% against bleeding enemies. And after skill change, the damage is 2100 over one hit, 
Uh, skill energy remains the same. Uh, strength amp, max level 3. Damage modifier is against uh, bleeding enemies, 120% still. Co-op ability, dragon haste, 15%. Chain co-op ability, water, frostbite equals users, strength, 13%. Abilities, Bleeding, Devastator, Increased Critical Rate by 50% against Bleeding Enemies, Stun Resistance 100%, Critical Damage 20%, and yeah, that's this unit, and I believe his unit type is Sword. Um, I mean, I like that skill too a whole bunch. I don't know. I don't know what really what Water needs, but he sounds like okay in my book to me. This thing being shareable and giving frostbite, bleeding, and dispelling a buff sounds pretty useful to me, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so let me see. Well, the second time the skill is used, very with different effects will be used instead. So when it's used a second time, that's when you get the strength amp. Okay, I think that's what it makes sense. All right, next unit, Summer Mitsuhide, every, aka Lazy Rat Summer, it's here. Uh, Mouse's Summer Revenge, shareable 5, deals damage to target enemies and inflicts Scorched. If the user has at least one Sizzling Sunflower, a variant of this skill called Mouse's Midsummer Revenge will be used instead. Mouse's Midsummer Revenge deals damage to the target and nearby enemies and deals extra damage to Scorched enemies based on combo count. It also consumes one Sizzling Sunflower and immediately readies the user's initial skill displayed at the top of their skill use list for use. Damage is 102 over 11 hits. Skill energy required is 2,720. Uh, shared skill is 5,520. And after skill change, it looks like you, you can't use the skill change version of this, so it's only for inflicting scorched. After skill change, damage is 90 over 20 hits. Damage is 349 over 1 big hit. Skill energy required is the same. And damage modifier is 0 hits equals 110% against scorched enemies, 120% at 15 hits, 30 hits, 130%, and 50 hits, 150%. And then we have Dance of the Cornered Mouse, grants the user a Sizzling Sunflower. The second time this skill is used, it will instead grant the user a Sizzling Sunflower and a Strength Amp. This skill will then alternate between two versions of every use, so no real limit on the... Right? It doesn't sound like... No, it says the second time it's used. Okay. Skill energy required is 4,010 to um, 400 to 110. <laughs> Gives a sizzling sunflower, stacks up to three times. After skill use, skill energy required is the same, except for now it gives a strength amp. Co-op ability, crit rate. Chain co-op ability, flame above 10 hits equals wind resistance 10%. Abilities, squeaky scramble 2. Reduces the damage dealt by the user's initial skill displayed by the top of their skill list and drag- wait, reduces damage dealt by the user's initial skill displayed at the top of their skill list and dragon skill to enemies that break state by 15% but increases attack rate by 5%. Also increases the user's attack rate by a further 10% when their initial skill is available for use. Sleep resistance 100% and flurry scorch punisher 35%. Increased damage to enemies was 35% on the combo count. Um, hmm, she was really solid to me up until that that ability. I don't know. You know, usually when they give someone a reduced damage um, stuff on them, it, they think they're too strong. Kind of like when um, Reborn Agni and Reborn um, the new Shadow Dragon. I'm sorry, my head hurts too much for me to remember, so forgive me. Uh, Nidhogg, there you go. Um, they reduce damage in break state because if they didn't, then they would just deal too much damage for them to be comfortable with. So maybe she's the same? I don't really see anything on here. Never mind, I remember now. It's 150 against Scorched Enemies. That is maybe why they're a little bit hesitant. Okay. Hmm. Again, another unit I'm not 100% sure on, but I think if they're saying that she needs to get a little bit of nerfing on... With her ability, I think that means that she's pretty good. Um, she also looks to be a dagger, which is fitting for what she is, because she needs high combo counts. Um, but not bad. I'm kind of interested to see how she would go. This is also adorable, the rat in shades. And finally, we have Galileanitis. I forgot, because this is a Gala remix. Galileanitis! If you want to do any fire content, anything, you want fire Leonidas. Moving on, Summer Marchitin, um, Barreling uh, Boars, 
Deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts bleeding, and grants the entire team a team strength amp. Uh, damage is 1,800 over one hit. Bleeding and- wow, this is this the first dragon to give a team amp? I think so. And of course she's limited, so that's annoying. Abilities, water strength 70%. Water Worm, uh, Worm of War 2, if the user is attuned to water, fill 100% of skill gauge at the start of- What? Oh man, she's really good, I think. I don't- you know what? I- um, I was gonna say she sounds kind of like Gallimars, but no, she's not like Gallimars. Um... Because Gallimars gives it after shapeshifting. So this is a one-time thing. So let me take the... It's pretty good, actually. I still say it would be pretty good. There's definitely some water units that are very slow that this could definitely help with. Um, I kind of like the design of her, to be honest. Her giving strength amp. Like, I think this would work great with someone like... Um, uh, oh, wait. No, it wouldn't work great with her because, unfortunately, she turns into uh, her own dragon. So it wouldn't work that amazing with her. Hmm. But either way, I think she's interesting enough that it'd be willing- I'd be willing to- I would be happy to have her to, like, test her out and do stuff with her. Um... So yeah, these are the units. Again, I'm not gonna be- don't expect a summoning video for specifically this game from me. Um, I'm currently in full-on save for any mode, because I think that there's gonna be collabs, and then there's a Halloween stuff to worry about for me. Um... I kinda would like... Out of all these, I actually would really like Summer Mitsuhede and um, Summer Marshton, but I think I'm going to end up looking at the last day, and on the last day, depending on what banner they announce. Basically, if the next banner they announced is these two, and it's 10 free multis, I'm not sending them more, because I already have Galileo, so I don't really need Galileo that badly. But if the next banner does not have them on it, I'm going to assume that this is the only banner that's going to have them in it, and I'm going to do a little bit more summons. But oh boy, I don't... we'll see, huh? Maybe it's just because my head hurts that I'm like a little bit down on this, but I really do think these units look kind of cool. I'd even bring up the fact that she has a really nice animation with surfing boars, which I think is very cute, and I want Dragalia to do more stuff like that. I think it's adorable, but you know. Alright, that's the end of today's video. You tell me your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good night. And don't worry, my headache will feel better. God, it's hot. I think that's where it's coming from. <laughs> good night.